Hi folks, welcome to our devotional Bible study today and we're going to continue with the book of Ephesians. Today we're looking at Ephesians chapter 1 verses 13 to 23. So it's picking up where we left off a couple of days ago. It says this, And you also were included in Christ when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Having believed, you were marked in him with the seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. For this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation, so that you may know him better. I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints, and his incomparably great power for us who believe. That power is like the working of his mighty strength, which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every title that can be given, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills everything in every way. Father, when we read your word together and we attempt to unlock it and understand the truth that it contains, we know that we need your Holy Spirit. So we ask your Holy Spirit to come today and help us empower our learning, Lord. Empower the word in us to achieve something of life for the pleasure of our Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Still living at home, bored and expecting to inherit a fortune when his sickly widower father died, Robert decided that he needed a woman to keep him company. So he went to a singles bar and he searched until he spotted a woman whose beauty took his breath away. Right now I'm just an ordinary man, he said to her. But within a month or two, my father will pass away and I'll inherit over $20 million. The woman went home with Robert that night, and four days later, she became his stepmother. It's amazing what length some people will go to for an earthly inheritance, often only to be disappointed when they don't actually receive what they think they are going to get. But there is a spiritual inheritance that is far more valuable and lasting than any inheritance, than any we could ever receive here on this earth. And the good news is that for those of us who have accepted Jesus as Lord and Saviour, that inheritance is guaranteed by God himself. Nothing is greater than the spiritual inheritance we've been freely given by Jesus. I have some questions for you, of course. In this passage, Paul writes of his prayers for these believers. What is the ultimate goal of the things that Paul is praying for? Verse 17. What exactly does he pray for and what are the three things he wants them to know? Why is it necessary that he pray for these things? In other words, why wouldn't other means of obtaining them, for example, personal study and reflection, be sufficient? See 1 Corinthians 2, 11 to 14, 2 Corinthians 4, 4 to 6. Let's pray. Father, I like the sound of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Jesus. I need more of your inspired wisdom in dealing with myself and other people, and of course, in dealing with God the Father. I need revelation, inspired revelation from God to help me to understand you and your word and to apply it to my life so that it makes a real and deep and lasting difference. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Amen. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and hope to see you in a couple of days' time. I'd love to see you physically, but I guess you'll see me through this screen, even if we're still unable to meet up. But if we are able to meet up, what a great day that would be. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.